Well, hello there, ladies and gents. My name is Gooch from Xanrica Studios, and today uh, I wanted to do something a little different. <clears throat> so basically, instead of, you know, like me playing a video game and, you know, making fun of it and doing all that stuff and talking a bunch of crap, like I have with most of my other videos, um... I'm going to be playing a game that I really, really enjoy, and I'm not going to talk at all during it. What this video is supposed to be is showing you my favorite bits from one of my favorite missions of The Witcher 3, which is Scenes from a Marriage. And basic, this isn't a guide, this isn't like, you know, puzzles solving and stuff like that. It's just showing you my favorite bits from this mission. So, um, yeah, if you enjoy this and you want to see more of stuff like this, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more content. And also, when you comment, please tell me that you love this type of shit, and I will continue to do it in the future. And with all that being said, please enjoy the video, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Graves, unmarked, laid out in rows like garden beds. Hey, hear me? thief. Bodies mutilated. Who are you? Happy families are all alike. Every unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. Your name's inscribed in this sketchbook. Perhaps you'd like it to be buried with you. The remains are interred. Let's summon her. Tore your bones to rest. Forget your wrath. Forget your grief. Show yourself. Forgive me for tearing you from your realm. I need to ask you...
Should I follow you? All right. What is this place? The Painted World. The work of Iris von Everek. How do you two get in here? We exist in both worlds at once. Strange place. One born of Iris von Everek's dreams. It existed only in her mind while she lived. In death it gained substance. Pretty fantastic tale. Hard as hell to believe. Yet you'd best believe it, and be on your guard. The painted world is rife with danger. All right, this is lovely and all, but where's Iris? You awoke her but for a moment. If you wish to speak to her, you must tear her from her slumber completely. Sure, but how? You're a tracker, right? Saw you examining the tracks outside. Yeah, so? This is a world built of memories blurred and wilting. Moments our mistress wishes to forget, but cannot. You need to find them, restore them, summon the fears that torment Iris, and destroy them. Easy to say. Hmm. Medallion's humming. A wraith? No. A nightmare. A fear crystallized. One... We're almost at our journey's end. What's there? Iris von Everick's greatest fear. My dearest wife. Letters from Old Gear to Iris. Were I only as skilled with words as I am with my blade. Especially now, when an icy fort grips my heart. I see how you look at me, and I see you with her. I cannot help you, but I believe I can cease harming you. This letter and this rose are my farewell. May you live in health, and remember but the good times, Olgierd.
You're not him. Wait, I want to talk. Not here. Not in this place. I'm sorry. I mistook you for another. For Olgird? I thought he'd returned. To me. What are you? A ghost? An illusion? I am sadness. Saw you before, but you weren't yourself. I saw you again in your memories. We've met. I don't recall. I had bad dreams. That is all I know. I've come for the violet rose Olgir gave you. On the day we saw one another for the last time. I dried it and placed it in our chamber at my bedside. I lay there for days, staring at it, until at last it crumbled into dust, as did I soon after. So, the rose is gone? Not from this world. Look, you buried my body and the flowers bloomed once more. And I, I was held in a deep, dark sleep. Only now have I awoken, just like my beautiful rose. When you placed the sketchbook on my grave, I remembered learning to draw my husband's face. Tell me, how is Olgird? Healthy? Does he fare well? Your husband's got a powerful enemy, Gontor Odin. Know the name? I curse the day I first heard it. Who is he, and how did he step into your lives? It's my fault. It was for me Olgird summoned the Man of Glass. And it was my fault he wished for riches, then immortality for us both. Olgird will best Odin, won't he? Now tell me, how is my husband? Your husband hunts out ever stronger sensations. He tempts fate, because at heart he's unhappy. At heart he is stone, so nothing has changed. And did... did Olgird mention me? What did he say? Not much, but I didn't ask about you. He just sent me to retrieve the rose. The rose? The last I have left of him? His last gift? Got a feeling the rose is important to you, more than a memento. I remember so little. Yet when I think of my rose, I begin to recall what was. The world around me turns real, and I... My eyes open wide and I recognize things. Remember who I am and who I was. A friend once told me about a case like this. Could be strong emotions that bind you to the rose. Feelings we witchers call pins. They're what keeps you in this world. 
like an insect pinned in a collection case. Horrible. Need to be honest, if I take the rose, you might cease to exist, as might the world you built around you. And what will happen then? Shall I be free of the suffering, the sadness? Is it the void that awaits? I don't know. I don't wish to suffer any longer. But I fear there will be cold and darkness until... there is nothing at all. I need the rose. Will you give it to me? It's so fragile. Look, the petal edges have turned crimson, as they were on the day I received it. The one thing missing is the single drop of dew which slid down the leaf when I took the rose in hand. Or was it blood? Because I pricked my finger. I can't remember. You know, I never did read the letter from Orgird. I didn't have to. And I needn't have kept the flower he left me. I've come to a decision. I shall give you the rose. Our service thus ends. Thank you, stranger, for freeing us. Before we go, some advice. Beware of the one called the Man of Glass. Stand in his way, and you'll meet a fate worse than death. Seek salvation in glass that can't be broken. Glass that can't be broken? So long. I'll remember you, Iris von Everek. That no longer matters. Farewell.